How dark are your thoughts? How negative is your thinking? How much do you complain that life is always against you, no matter what? That things just simply aren't going your way? How much of this negative mindset do you really have? And then you look, you look to that person. Maybe it's a coworker, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a colleague, and they're positive all the time. You've never seen a moment where they're not positive and you wonder, you just think to yourself, wish I could be like that. I wish I could be more positive. Why do I think such negative things all the time? What's the difference? What's their secret? And I can show you. First things first, how are you? I hope, I hope you've been good and I hope you've been all right. I want to tell you my story. You see, I, I had a very dark, dark period of my life that lasted a couple years where I would be thinking negative thoughts all the goddamn time. It was when I was working a nine to five job in a restaurant, getting home super, super late, drinking all the time, only ever playing video games on my days off. And I'd think negative things all the time. At work, at home, with family, with friends. All the time, I just complained. To the point where people started viewing me as the toxic one. But now I'm not. Now I'm viewed as the one who's positive all the time. So how did I do that? How did I change things? See, I read a book known as Good Vibes, Good Life. By Vex King, I think it was. Now this book, there are some things that really resonated with me and really helped me reveal the way I think. And the reason why... I have negative thoughts, and how, most importantly, we can break the cycle of negative thinking. First of all, our negative thoughts tend to really happen in a current situation, a stressful moment, a moment in time where someone else has hurt our ego, has been judgmental, has hurt our feelings. You know, maybe it's that moment at work, or maybe it's a moment with friends. That is a big reason to why we start complaining, to why we think negative things. A stressful or hurtful situation. Now, we spend so much time thinking about the bad, thinking about the bad things, and only focusing on the bad things. That we don't give any time to be grateful or focus on the good things. So that gratitude is incredibly hard. So what I want you to do, the next time you start complaining or you start having those bad emotions or a stressful situation happens where your ego is hurt, you are hurt, that person's being judgmental, this situation is just stressful. I want you to take a step back, deep, deep breath through your nose, straight to your stomach, and I want you to think, to identify what you are feeling. Why do I feel like this? See, just as little as identifying what we are feeling and why we are feeling this can be enough to make a change. Sometimes that's enough to stop feeling like that. You know, maybe it's at school, a problem with friends, or that person has just said something to you that's made you feel quite offended. Take a step back, think, how am I feeling? I'm feeling angry, I'm feeling pissed off, I'm feeling hurt. Why? This person's just said something to me that's really offensive and he had no reason to. Now replace that feeling, place those thoughts with something else. As little as just identifying what you feel is enough to change them. You know what? He's entitled to what he thinks. He has his own opinions, but he's come out and said something completely random to me with no point. But it hurt, yes, but that's all right. He's probably dealing with something a lot on his own and he's lashing out and hurting other people. But I know for a fact that I'm happy and I'm focused on what I need to do. The thing is, it does sound harder than it, it's obviously like, you know, harder this is easier said than done that's the saying that's the saying easier said than done but the reason why that's easier said than done is because none of us spend time to gratitude to being grateful to thinking more positive thoughts that's why this is so difficult so what if there was a way that we could be more grateful that we could learn to be more positive positive? and that is gratitude journaling write 10 things in the morning first thing that you're grateful about it can be anything it could be to the chair you sit on, to the fact that you woke up that day, the fact that it's not raining today, it can be anything. Just find 10 things that you're grateful for every single day. It'll be very, really, really hard at first, but I guarantee you, after a week, you will be thinking so much more positive than you were a week ago. And the reason is because it's hard, 
you have to really search for the little things to be grateful for. And you end up becoming more happy about it, which helps you in those situations, in those stressful situations where your ego is hurt, with us being incredibly negative, incredibly toxic. But then there is a saying that you will be the average of the 10 people that you surround yourself with. And that's true. Sometimes we have to be the ones to walk away. Now, that probably sucks to hear. It's a very ugly truth. And it might be when you click off. 90% of people will probably click off right now because that is something they don't want to hear. They don't want to walk away from that toxic friendship group because people are scared of being alone. But if there is a person who is constantly bringing you down, bringing you down to their level, to thinking negative thoughts, to where you both are always complaining, doesn't matter what you do, doesn't matter how many times you are grateful, doesn't matter how you react to your emotions in the current stressful situation, doesn't matter how hard you try, if someone out there is willingly trying to bring you down to a negative state, to their level, it's a temptation and it's not going to help you, and you will most likely fail. Sometimes you do have to walk away from the people that are really, really toxic. And there is a way to do this. There is a way to tell that friendship isn't good. And it's by a simple, simple question. Do they care about you? You see, I, when I left college, I went out to typical pubs and Weatherspoons and such and tried to make more friends. And obviously we went out drinking. And then when I started to try and improve myself and I was like, you know what, I don't want to drink because it makes me feel bad. It makes me feel like my hangover isn't great and I don't do anything the rest of the day. And I want to be more productive. I don't want to feel this terrible. So I'm going to not drink tonight. Sorry, guys. And they literally messaged me, but oh, why? Why not? We need a drinking bunny. Come on, <laughs> drinking bunny. <laughs> come, come on, come down, come down. And I asked them and I was like, do you not care about me? Do you just want someone to drink with so you're not drinking alone? And they couldn't say anything to that. It's because they didn't care. A good friendship, someone who actually cares about you, is someone who cares about your well-being. The kind of person who you're both going to the gym together and you say, I'm really tired today. And they say, no, we're both trying to get better at this. You're coming with me. That's the kind of person who cares about you. <laughs> so essentially, when it comes down to it, identify how you're feeling in a certain stressful situation. Just identifying how you're feeling and why you're feeling that is more than enough to be able to change and start thinking more positive things. It's more than enough to break the cycle. And things that can help you be more grateful and think more positive things is things such as gratitude journaling. Where you write 10 things every single day in the morning that you're grateful for. And the people who you surround yourself play a part. Surround yourself with good people. People who actually care about your well-being. Hopefully this video helped you out. And I hope things have been good. I hope you've been alright. And if you like me... Within the next few weeks, I will be creating a community on the website known as School. And if you want more content from me or you want to support me, I would really appreciate it. You just looking out for it and joining it when it does come out. On there, there'll be a community where you can ask other people for help. You can ask specific video ideas from me, from my own experiences that I can help you avoid the same mistakes that I did. And I would be very appreciative of the support. For now, though, I haven't set it up. It will be coming out within the next few weeks. So keep an eye out for it. I'll let you guys know as well. But for now, I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner. Because this video could help you out. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, come here. Give me a sudden broom kiss. Mwah.